Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're going to teach you guys how to defeat Germany as Czechoslovakia. Maybe some people think it's easy, uh, like just being democratic and uh, defeating Germany. And uh, I'm not sure if it is either way. <laughs> I want to make a guide to show you how it's done. So for this video's purposes, I'm going to have a sort of AI on, just so I'm sure that like Germany doesn't go down straight away, and I have uh, at least some time to prepare. And uh, yeah, the rules are we're not gonna join uh, Soviet because that would be the easiest choice. Taking ally here in the east is really strong. Mm. I guess for some reason to it's, to say it's better to join the allies always, but I would say most of the time it's better to join Soviet. But let's say we can't for some reason and we need to join the allies. How is the best? Way? How do you defeat uh, Germany, man? Well, I did it yesterday defeating Germany, Italy. A check, so it shouldn't be that hard. And uh, political directness is the best opener, cause because it's the uh, it's the same thing as this strategic decisions, but instead of uh, so you can say why why didn't you go down this? It's because it opened up this road here in the middle, which is uh, basically necessary for you to take if you want to have any chance. Uh, they're really strong Def uh, division defense and the minus research time especially is why we are. Which is basically why you uh, you could consider it better to be on the allies, I would say. But uh, the best decision for Czechoslovakia, <laughs> the best decision is to go down uh, right here and join them. Uh, it's the easiest, it's the best. But uh, well, we can't do that because uh, we have a, we have another goal, and that's to annex Germany. So we'll do that. The general we want to pick is this face because he has the max entrenchment and the max planning. And even though we're not going to do an offensive, you need to make this offensive line just so you guys get your troops get the planning bonuses. You don't want any cavalry divisions, you want to switch them all out for infantry or mountaineers. I'm going to switch them out for infantry. And I'm going to train both infantry divisions and mountaineers. We can remove a tank, remove RT, uh, not the RT, the cavalry, because <laughs> we don't need it. And here it says we're producing support and we don't need it, but it's fine. We want it because it has already reached the cap, so it would be really, really stupid of us to remove it. Uh, we're gonna add one already also, and then just max out an infantry. We will need the stockpile, so I would recommend never to basically move down in infantry. You will be needing every single gun, so let's say you have a 50k stockpile, that's really good. And you will still need every single gun. It's basically how it works <laughs> in Germany. It takes a lot of guns to bring them down, so you do the standard... Uh, double in industry and uh, land doctrine and the land doctrine we're going for is grand battle plan this is for the first to give us so much entrenchment that they will basically never break through us so we will be able to hold you want to train these divisions so we get up to regular yet you need the army experience also we won't have time later to train and um, I'll actually train two of both even though I don't have any men because we will be bumping up to limited conscription quite soon for buildings, you want to be building military base, um, military stuff immediately here in the back. This is why not here. It's basically the same thing. We won't be losing anything because, like, we're not stupid or bad at the game. <laughs> but for safety reasons, it's always better to build them here in the back. Um, though you could say it's better here because of the uh, bonuses for industry. But I would say it's uh, for safety. I usually do it here. You should. Though it's probably actually min-maxing, you should probably be doing this and then be building back here, I would say. Yeah, let's do that. Let's min-max, actually. Yeah, let's do that. But I'll not be building here in Sudan to land, because it's kind of risky, actually. <laughs> if they manage to break through, even though I suspect they won't. So, we will be trying to get rid of divided uh, divided thingy. <laughs> I really dislike what they've done here. I was like, if you go down here, I was like, oh, cool, they haven't done it, so either you divide nation and you have to go down a uh, civilian or you get military and then I checked and was like oh it's it's still civilian <laughs> so this is free civilian and here's two civilian so you lose free civilian factories and you get this uh, you get rid of this one which is like how the fuck can that even be a choice <laughs> it's so much better to just get rid of the negative effect and get your uh, national unity and everything it's really it's basically necessary I would say and for Air Force, we are just gonna get rid of it, so we get some manpower back. We will add them back later, but for now, we'll remove them, get the troops out on the field here instead, and uh, later, we'll add the planes back. But for now, we don't need them. Instead, I want to fill up the 
ranks. It's usually better, I I see. And uh, yeah, so for so as the, this one requires some support for the Democratic Party. So some people like, like maybe you think you want to go down the Democratic guy, but it's just a waste of political power. You get the democracy support here, and instead you just want to wait a bit, do some R foxes in the meantime, and um, pick up some other stuff. Cause like the 150 political powers actually, they I think they buff the Prince of Terror for every nation. I really gotta check in on that, but the new Prince of Terror seems really OP uh, with the 2% non-core manpower. Bump this up to limited conscription, so you get some more men. Pick up the democracy. Uh, democratic Bastion, we get 200 political power from that, which is insanely good. So we can basically do two choices and uh, immediately. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to be a two part because it's kind of a long video to all the way from 1936 to 1940. Usually it will take. Uh, last time I managed to defeat Germany and Italy in early 1940. I'm not sure if that's a good time, but this is uh, saying that the war broke out in 1938 in mid. And I took like half a year to a year to just defend my territory and wait for France, UK, Poland, everyone to jump in on the war. And when Poland jumped in, there was the last guy because he denied the <laughs> Danzig. And he does that when you have historical Leon, so that's kind of a big deal. And this code that works is actually really good. The 10% factor out really helps out <laughs> the factories. Like, you, when you reach your cap, it's basically just factory output that you want to as much as possible so, and uh, I realized uh, playing my last game that I missed something and that is we don't actually have that many resources so it seems like a good idea to bump it up to free trade um, to get that extra factory output 5% right you get more yeah 5% extra it's it's okay you get some more uh, of other bonuses as well over oh, research speed actually it's insane on that one okay you can do two choices here so we'll just refresh I don't know if it helps oh well and uh, so pick up this one and the military theorist yeah seems good and maybe we'll consider this one but uh, now okay <laughs> now that we have that we want to rush down for this one and uh, with some pauses but we'll, we'll start one thing I also thought of is that here it says uh, this one I was like oh god this one is really good you want to pick that up and build land force everywhere and then I realized this didn't set say add. It said student land set the land for two free, which is a huge difference. Because this means basically that, uh, and here it says set to five. This is set to seven. So this means that you can't. Because what I thought you would do is pick up the first one, build up to level uh, three or four, and then just pick these guys so it and it, so it went up to level ten. That doesn't work, <laughs> which is stupid. Uh, but it's probably for balance reasons, because it would be super easy to defend with level 10 forts everywhere. So, level 7 forts, for level 7 forts is good enough. So here's the choice, concentrated, dispersed, you can pick whichever. Uh, I recommend dispersed, because like, you will be fighting with long war versus axis, you won't have uh, control over your airspace, <laughs> basically at all, I guess. But, um... Maybe it is better with concentrated because you just need the build up. You need to build up quick. No, actually. Well, I'm going for disparity. You can go for concentrated if you prefer that. I don't really mind. It's the same. For this thing, I can really see you either way. I, I can see either way being fine. Actually, we have a. We have a. What is it called? So we'll add in some air wings. Now that we have reserves ready. Actually, Spain, cool. I will add them here on this airspace. Really, really cool. This new um, air system, I like it. Producing the old equipment, but I just feel like producing the old equipment is like uh, very risky because you get a lot of divisions, but they're not really that good. So you can probably get around 70 to 80 if you do that strategy. But I just, I see, and you start with a full cap and everything. So I, I usually would say this is better and we're also going to start bumping up these later but at this point probably we're going to stop with the infantry and get something along this line I would say in terms of the other ones because we're going to add them in 
but that's later. So you want to produce him, get a big stockpile of RT support, and after that add them in the division, so uh, we actually can keep training troops all the time. Because as it is right now, we can't really, but that's because of this deficit. And we are at how much report? 66, so yeah, which probably I would say <laughs> continue going down here. And these are really good, but you never have time for it. That's the thing. You don't have the time. You need to pick this up, get the divide nation. You need to pick this up, and you need to pick up everything except the Hungarian and Polish lines. We're going to rush down, pick up these two. These in the middle first because they give you manpower. I don't think these two. Nope, they don't seem to do. So that's rip. And uh, here. Everything seems good. We're not gonna add in anything. Well, we could trade for this, but it's a waste of a civilian, I would say. Instead, we'll now. Hmm. What do you want to pick up now? It's probably. I would say. At this point. Yeah. Okay, let's go for a free trade one. What was I thinking about? Yeah, here. On, on general staff, we're going to aim for picking up a defense guy. Like, this guy is really good, the moral, the 12%. I wish he was here on the high command, though, because uh, <laughs> on the chief of army, you have uh, the best one, the offensive guy. You always want him, but because we will be defending, we'll be picking this guy and switching out for the offensive guy when we go on the offensive. So, uh, at some point, we we will really need the 10% extra. And for here, we'll pick up this re re regrouping on the logistics guy. So we'll pick up these. These are the most important, the first two. You really want them. But we're going to rush down. You usually get uh, these four. You, well, you always get these four. Uh, that's the ones you get before the war starts. And after that, it should start around this time. Because we won't be getting any uh, modifiers for time. Like any double or so. We don't have time. At all. <laughs> we need to do so much other stuff as uh, Czechoslovakia. If we want to have a chance of defeating them. And... Uh, we should be able to have like, when uh, Germany declares war on us, we should be able to have about half their troops, I would say, around 60, 70, is that half of Germany's troops, 938, probably for a bot, I would say, a player could have a lot more than that, but it's a bot. So now we're starting to uh, accumulate and build up our first troops, and we'll actually want to get rid of this depth and be in surplus, and when we're in surplus, I'm gonna add them, we train five of each. Five of each. Uh, around the time, but that's gonna be when we have a uh, defensive preparations because that's kind of a big deal Getting that manpower <laughs> right now. We don't have a manpower to at all <laughs> be producing so 10 divisions at a time Maybe if we pick up these as well, we'll have like this huge reserve army You never really do it though. It's like I always be on uh, I'm on the edge like have like um, around a hundred thousand reserves is uh, fine when it breaks out I would say because you will be moving up to service and uh, then you will have unlimited reserves so it's fine it's never really a problem I would say and the military factories are constructing finally oh we can actually just auto add them to the front it's probably better and we will oh actually no let's not do that we'll, we'll do a fallback line this is in case anything happens Last time I played uh, and I won versus Germany, nothing happened and we didn't break through on a single point. But if anything happens, you really want a defensive line on these, on this location here. In case, let's, in case something happens, like you never know, maybe they break through somewhere. You don't want them to take your capital, see anything important. So then it's better to have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven troops just entrenched and ready to go on this border here just guarding the capital and you will be switching by putting them on the front line later uh, when you start push like right before but actually we want them on the front line though because we need them to get the planning bonus so we'll send them back later seven divisions that's probably better if we have this you could also I, I've see I thought of making our defensive line here behind it like somewhere so you can actually make a hold out here where you hold, you just hold the basic of these two states. That's all you hold. So you need to hold this city, man. Yeah, so you make like a defensive line with a fallback line that goes like here. I can see that, but I'll not do that. It takes too many 
uh, troops to hold and be ready. I'd much rather have them on the front lines ready to go and just entrenched on the forts. <laughs> I'm getting level seven, fort, level 7 forts on this board for a re reason. <laughs> Very interesting. Are we getting it in time? At 90? No, it's 70. I mean, seems like we're not. We should be able to pick this one. And then, and it's not that big of a deal. Research time is the only thing why we want it early. <coughs> the only reason we want it early. And we should be able to not train this now. We can train them more later. But we'll save the equipment. And that's another reason. We don't want to train them while we have good equipment like already on them. We will need to retrain everyone when we add it because we will lose experience and move down to trained. But we can tr quickly train them up when we're on so high. So we'll bump this up to early mobilization. Like this. Oh, f what? Oh my fucking god, mate. Are you kidding me? No, you must be. Oh my fucking god. Well, rip me. I was really planning to get that. I'll, I'll let it pass one day, a couple days. Nothing, nothing that causes word tension. Oh well, <laughs> let's pick up this RT. If you could, you should really have picked early there. <laughs> if you could have done it, well, rip me. That's unlucky, I guess. Should be pumping out some more now. Oh, rip equipment, almost surplus. <laughs> and we'll get rid of divided nation. Oh, actually. 69 and a half. It's like I don't want to waste the time, so much sure just get if it's 20 days. I don't want to waste those 20 days. We don't need even political power for a lot more. It's the first. Uh, oh, trade. We need to trade more. Trade with France. France is good. <laughs> France is very good for you. Very healthy. So, we guys are entrenched, ready to go. This fucking. Punishing through the German lines. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it's actually not that long until it breaks out to a war. So how long it's been going? 20 minutes. I'm going to record the whole thing in one take, and uh, and uh, if depending on how long it is, I'm going to either just cut it down into one big episode where with editing, or I'll make it two episodes. We'll see. We'll see. And we can, seems good, picking up the research time. We really want this reinforce rate, I guess. And we'll need to get this. This is kind of important. I really like it, like, compare, comparing these two. Defense, like, 50 is like 50% better. Bit better breakthrough. Yeah. It's a lot better soft attack. Same heart attack, piercing, same reliability, fraction. It's a bit more expensive, not that, actually. Be be Beacon of Liberty now. And uh, yeah, we just got rid of the uh, divided nation. That's actually kind of nice. <laughs> actually, kind of nice. So that's one way of looking at it. Come on, I nine win the civil war, dude. Oh well. <laughs> now we'll start picking up these. It's time. This is going to take like a year to continue to finish. So we'll maybe get it in time if we're lucky. But. Uh, yeah, and this is just shit. Don't have no time for this. Like, how are you supposed to have time to go down all of this shit to get the research bonuses and war college? War college is good, but it's not worth like two years of time. <laughs> of going down, like, what the fuck? What do you think I am? So for my plan, we're half over. This is the most important, actually. <laughs> these are, I said these are the most important for planning. But with the uh, temp defense, temp and defense, and ten organization is just insane. So I'm not actually sure which one, which one is the best. <laughs> Funny. Oh well, mm, do we pick up the art now, or the infantry. It doesn't matter, I guess. So we'll start here. It doesn't matter if you did this. You think it takes the same time? No, it didn't. Oh yeah, because I have a ten percent off for already. Makes sense. I should soon send back divisions. I guess we should start pumping up divisions, bef divisions before they are ready. Let's do that. Send them. 
between them. Take here. Let's add stuff. Recon. Already. 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 Yeah. Good. Very good. Very well, very well. And let us continue. Oh my god. Are you are you kidding me? Well I'll just be saying with political power. I can't be bothered to use it on use it on anything. It's it's time to pick up the generals and uh, this so I guess we'll save it. <laughs> Tank designer. Rip rip down. Tank designer's feelings. Come on. I wanna shit. But to say that they enjoy it. <laughs> Hashtag relatable for today's you. Mm, probably not, but are you kidding me? That's a little. It, it did 19 before the patch in the other patch. 19. God, I'm so I'm so mad. I want I need world tension. Oh, you haven't even done Anastasia. Oh fuck, I need to entrench here. Come on, do one search. Come on, I dare you. I double dare you. And it's time to start doing only... Oh, what? No, you... I had historical AI on. Is this historical for you? Is this historical? This is not fucking historical, dude. Are you... Did I do wrong? Don't I have histor... Do I seriously not have histor historical AI on? Are you scraping my ass right now? Oh well. <laughs> God, I'm mad. I'm, I'm kinda mad. Oh yeah, I'm like, no troops. Need to pump out more. Good. Now we actually have kind of a lot of divisions. Feels good. Feels good. I should probably remove... Actually, I said you shouldn't. But this is absolutely enough, 80 per day. And we need to get more RD. Okay, so let's trade for more. And let's trade for Tungsten. And let's... Do we need more support? Oh, we're actually surplus in support, so... We'll just keep it as it is, I guess. 6,000 in uh, stockpile, that's, that's, uh, that we're not... That's like... <laughs> producing units. Would be nice to have that. Like x ray 8000, just give me it. Oh. oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kindness. And then we'll do the final fortifications. We'll pick up the defensive guy. We'll pick up some other shit. Rip China. You should never do that. Just give them this best territory of yours. Or raining it. Rip. <coughs> and right now it's basically 1% that's actually kind of good, 1.2% for this. It's actually in oh god, I haven't picked this, oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh well, we'll pick this up, we'll pick defensive up, we'll get tons and tons of reserves, we'll be able to train divisions for ages. Because <coughs> our industry is actually kind of good, I think. So we'll add here, and add here, I guess. I should bump that down, because... Bump. You. No, it's the same. So let's do it in that order, man. It's the same. And let's get ready for war. Power. <laughs> we get even better support weapons so we can defend us. We need to defend versus the Germans. We'll stop training again. We'll go in here and we'll need to add the last two. Now we're equipped. Now our divisions are done. Officially done. Actually, we'll, we'll need to train some more, because I just pumped out a ton of divisions. Yeah, lots of diplomatic protests, yeah. How do you feel now? If they were doing student land right after, I would be so mad. <laughs> I need a lot more time to prepare. Prepare my battle. And let's pick up the defensive preparations, and after that we'll try and... The fallback line, is that more important? Or the internal, no, the internal redouts, it's a lot worse. No, it actually adds in Bohemia. 
have, everything is beam is the only important basically because uh, what we want is uh, uh, on these we just wanted to add stuff <laughs> don't actually care where just somewhere in Bohemia actually just it says add so we should probably be building some uh, force here but we're not gonna push through this is just just in case and here you see the level 7 force on the front line oh actually what if we invade here oh well <laughs> rip us man actually maybe we need to do all of them then I guess I need to prepare as much as possible and pick it up oh my god we don't even have that one god I missed it I missed it so badly oh god this is bad this is bad this is really bad uh, please don't pick <laughs> please don't ok good god that was intense <laughs> let's pick up the defense get soldiers pump up more divisions have around 60, we'll have 60 actually, exactly. Defensive, have a lot of guys now. So let's get the full back line. Good, very, very, very well. Basically done. We need them on the front line. We just need more troops. Actually, don't even have a surplus. Okay, let's get, we, we do have a surplus. We'll remove those. We'll do some training. But for the most part now we don't want to train more. We mainly just want to have build up stockpiles. And uh, yeah. I'll not train then. It's we don't we can't really. We need to entrench. Come on. It would be the dream if we didn't pick Silent and land here and waited, but uh, we can't get everything in life. So I'm expecting them to. And in that case, we won't have time for another advisor. Let's rip. And in that case, we'll get that basically at the same time he finishes it. Oh, basically, I guess. So that's actually not very good if we get it at the same time. We would like to get it before. Okay, that's. Hopefully, we can turn this both around then uh, because I lost it. He picked it. Okay, so I'm guaranteed now, at least. Okay, this is not good, but I don't have engineer. <laughs> Internal ribbed out, we'll pick that up. I am ready though. I am sort of joining allies and I'm going to get to join allies, hopefully. <laughs> it's really weird how there isn't a thing here where you, where you get to join the allies. Like, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> I really dislike that. Like, maybe... I don't know, to the side, under, something. Because I want absolutely not activate this. We have visit for the planning. So remember, remember, it's only for the planning. And these guys don't have planning, but they, it's it's fine, I guess. I can't really do anything about it now. Ten days more. Oh crap, we're, we're getting it basically. Oh, getting it all this on the same time that it breaks out. Oh rip. Okay, this is good. We have the event. This is where you just, this is where you try to save your ass by chilling on the event. <laughs> so are we going down assault? No, we're going down infiltration. Okay. I'm not gonna do it like uh, hold it too long because that's not fun. So, but I'm going to add it on the divisions. <laughs> gonna train them, get them all ready. No, I don't have time for that. It's going to auto pick for me. And I'm going to lose this event and land. Boom. Fuck you, Germany. I'm not surrendering. So this is where you are at war of Germany. And you have the option. Here you could attack, like it says you should be able to. But I'm not going to, either way. Uh, I much rather... Uh, very well. So now, this is why you didn't want to activate it. Uh, right now it says it's red and uh, you can see why and you don't want to leave your forts the forts are what's uh, keeping you alive if he tries to attack you you're just gonna hold there's no way he's uh, coming through this and uh, your internal redoubts are done so I'm, I'm thinking what you want 
maybe research yeah let's get to the research slot we have time now so hopefully the allies will he will overextend get up down to a war and uh, when he does we'll just defeat him when he fucks up we'll defeat him very well very well spoken no Romania why don't you help you never help you just sit with your 31 divisions and just don't do anything just rip yeah see we don't have air superiority I'm just gonna let my fighters kill themselves because <laughs> I don't care we'll need to do some help oh actually we're green here that's weird and Italy isn't even in the axis oh well rip Italy can't join in jo can we can't even join in on all the fun and France is doing naval invasions very nice they should continue. I like that. Oh well, I'll take it fine. How is a convoy needed when I'm landlocked? Oh well, I can't be bothered to even think about it. I like this green, this new green is so nice. I like it. Very, very nice color. We have no chance of piercing through it. And we can never pierce through Imaginet line. And we can't go around Imaginet because we're stupid. Oh, we're just fine. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we can go around if we want to. Rip. <laughs> okay. The border's holding. We're looking mighty fine. And just gonna give it some more time. And sometime you should do dancing. You can do dancing. So Poland join us very well. We're going around the Maginet, of course. Please, please do dance go war before you crush France. Fuck. Okay, that's rip. That's really rip. Oh well. Oh, rip. Rip my forts. Repair them. Repair the forts. I don't want to risk anything. I don't want to have this level 6 nonsense. I want level 7 everywhere. To be safe. I need to be 100% safe that nothing happens to my front line. Let's do some arms exports. Why not? And I've done basically nothing anymore. But I've lost 90 men. <laughs> I've lost more. Feel manpower. Okay, we have a bigger army than them. That's interesting. But even though we have bigger army, they have all of their army concentrated here in Europe. We have ours around the world. Canada, Australia, around. A lot of it is actually here in British Rosh. So, like, I gotta look on British Rosh. I can't, oh, estimated manpower, I can check here. Okay, 200,000, oh, okay, that, yeah, they have this negative effect, right. Fuck you, Paradox, you should really remove that. I hate it, I seriously hate it. <laughs> that we nerf British Rush that hard. We should nerf China then. But we shouldn't nerf China, because China's fun. <laughs> oh, none is even delivered, fuck. Fuck. Oh, not even delivered, rip me. Oh, rip, I can't even be bothered. <laughs> we can't... God, why don't we just stop sending? Come on, open a new front. Be dumb. Why do you land in Bree, man? They don't even have a port, right? Is this a port? No port. There's no port. You stupid, stupid Brit. The British and French AI is just so bad. Okay, we're breaking through. I need to, I need to start the offensive. I'll try. I need to start offensive. I need to defeat them before Germany defeats France. That's our goal. Yep. It's looking well. well. Everything is going exactly like it did last time. Oh, rip. 
okay. Breaking through here, it's looking good. Keep moving, keep moving. We're a, a long way from our forts now, so there's like no turning back. <laughs> There's a reason for us to actually just retreat back and hold the fort, but that's... We're no pussies. We're gonna win. We're gonna defeat them. Oh, actually. Aren't you... Go on, you're supposed to be assigned, dummy. 62 divisions assigned, good, good, good. Okay, stop the offensive, it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, we can't continue. We need to hold it. We need to hold the ground we've gained now. Move it up. Move it up, move it up, move it up. God, that's so scary right now. Because it's on camera and everything. Okay. You should retreat. Yes, Dancy. Good. Good. Very well. Move up to the front. We need to secure that province. Or oh, we're losing more ground. Come on. God damn it, Germany. Oh, well, you're going to overextend now. There's no way I'm, I'm going to lose in 70 days. So I will be able to continue my offensive whenever the Poland is helping in the war effort. Oh, rip. Come on, we're focusing down here in the south to make a breakthrough to capture Austria and uh, possibly start moving into. Maybe not moving into the Italy, but at least forcing Italy to. Move over troops and then France can push uh, focus on this area because it's not looking too great <laughs> here. And the French uh, troops are around circle, that's not fun. Okay, we're breaking through. And out here it's looking good, we can move up. We're holding, holding, holding. And I'm gonna just look where the front line is. Okay, we are on the front lines on some place and that's fine, that's fine. Uh, as long as we put we have made some ground in other places, so it's it's okay. God dear god. There's so much to do right now. So much microing. Let's start the offensive again. Like let's put so, as much press as possible on Germany right now. So when Danzigo war happens, he will just be totally wrecked. Because he started with focus there's no turning back now. For him. He's... He's rip. He's so rip. What I fear is that it's so easy to defend as uh, Czechoslovakia now in this update, but... Uh, in multiplayer, you will need to ban so nobody plays Czechoslovakia just so that this doesn't happen, because this would this is so unfun in multiplayer. In, in single player, well, sure, <laughs> who cares? It's single player, it's your game. But uh, in multiplayer, I really hope this doesn't happen, because if this starts happening all the time, I will seriously just ban Czechoslovakia. Yeah, I already have done it on my games, but most games actually don't ban Czechoslovakia or Yugoslavia. Uh, Austria is all the time banned, I guess, but. Uh, Belgium, Belgium is another nation that should be banned probably because of the strategic reason of this one province in Belloni. It's kind of a big deal actually, just uh, being able to uh, hold off Germany forever basically. But no, actually they shouldn't be banned because you can always go for the Netherlands and yeah, and they don't have industry too. Yeah, uh, my bad. I forgot, to forget that. I was. That's a fourth, but uh, it's not a problem actually. I thought it was a bigger problem than it actually was. Okay, let encircle these two. Oh, actually, it's hard to encircle. They have uh, Italy on their side, but basically encircled. Okay, let's more here. More is better. More is not always better, but in Hearts of Iron, more is always better. More territory, that is. And more factories. And more everything. <laughs> So we'll move down, secure more land here in Italy, the first land. Czechoslovakian troops have landed in Italy. Just defeat the tanks, we need to kill, kill them. If 
have actually we we have actually lost the front line <laughs> the tip we'll never take it back right yeah it says we will but actually will we no Ford is too strong entrench entrench and everything to the front line we actually lost a troop rip rip division <laughs> So we've lost a million troops, we've lost Gevervat, but uh, the important is how much I've lost. 300,000, that's kind of not a lot. It's not that much. Almost dancing, and we're holding strong. We're holding very strong. Oh my, no, you're kidding me? Are you serial right now? UK? Oh no, no, no. Um. Yeah, we're holding. Fuck. My front line just got extended, and I didn't like that. I didn't. I really didn't want that right now. What does it happen? We're not even. Why? Why? Oh well. Fuck me, I guess. Unlucky, or something. Use the German ultimatum. Declares war. Joint allies. Yep. And the Germany is fucked. Sock submit to Italy. Very well, Mussolini, very well. You've conquered a beast in Albania. Wait, why can I see these troops here? Why can I why can I see all of your troops? It's not like I've researched any Oh well. I can't bother. We'll start it again. Oh, good job, Yugoslavia, going into independence to join. You should join allies, dude, fam. Fighting for your democracy. Democracy is the shit, yo. Cool. Let's continue to push. It's time. Start the offensive. Go up north. Take Berlin. Go east, take Munich, that's our goals. Berlin and Munich. At that we should probably go down into Italy. I mean, we need Germany to surrender still, but uh, France needs to do something. Oh god, actually. I'll take that back, I'll just surrender Germany immediately. And uh, not let France surrender. <laughs> it wouldn't be very fun if France just surrendered on me right now. I don't want that. I want France on my side, really. Fourth divisions. Okay, I, he is 40, I have 61, 98, 45, so, so I'm a lot stronger than <laughs> little UK, little, little UK. Go, go, go. Take it. Oh, actually, oh, no. Rip. Oh, lost more divisions. Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace for <laughs> Czechoslovakian army. How will we recover? Oh, actually, we just got the <laughs> we got we lost the three divisions. We lost our back. Very nice. Full of Nanjing, rip China. We're not in Axis yet, so that's good. Oh, and they've lost East Poisa, so they've lost their home. The, po the poisons have lost their home. Now we have nothing to return to no home to crawl back into <laughs> come on I want this a straight front line to defend actually German troops are just too strong I guess this no 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 it's you suck come on stop the offensive just for that dude I don't want him to just kill himself. <laughs> Poland is doing fine though. Good. It's good. I've actually break bro uh, broken through here. God, German might. We don't have any equipment. That's oh god, man. We need to oh god, we need to move up. We don't have any troops. We can't do any offensive right now then. Well then. Let's just chill on it then. Let's just sit here and wait. Wait until we get more men. 
to the front lines. We'll need to get service by requirement. We'll also get some time too for our industry to keep up. We'll need to build some stuff, I guess. Nice. See, I should, I could probably end the video here, and everyone in the world knows how to defeat Germany at this point, but. Mm. For education purposes, maybe it's it's best if we just play it out, play out the whole scenario. Do you need to attack? We need to keep attacking even when we don't have troops. Kind of sad, actually. We need to keep up a pressure if we want France to have a chance to hold. Oh, we're not. We don't seem to be breaking through anywhere. Fuck. This doesn't, doesn't look. Doesn't vote good. Doesn't vote very well. Huh. Come on, Poland, do something. You suck very much. Do you have any troops left? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, you have tons of troops. Oh, France doesn't have any. Oh, and not the UK. You have 20. Oh, no. Ripped. Rip the 20 men you had. Oh, I don't want these to be encircled. I need to push up. Oh, you did Oh. They didn't look like they had troops. Oh, well, I'll end the video here. And you should, <laughs> if you have more luck or are just better, I guess. I should be able to win from here, but I can't be bored, so I'll end it here, and, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be that hard, I guess, so I'll see you, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, tell me in the comments what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye.